Yeah. Hello and welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to talk to you very briefly about a product that I bought yesterday from Affinity Photo or Serif. Serif are the parent company of Affinity Photo, Affinity Design, Affinity Publisher. They announced yesterday on the 1st of June that all their products across the range were reduced by 50% for the whole month of June. Now, obviously, by the time you get to see this video, that may no longer apply. Let's now go on to talk about how I bought the Mystical Lights Overlay Collection for 17 euros and um, I've already found they're, they're quite a lot of fun. Now, if you're not into post-processing, if it's not your thing, I suggest you switch off now. No, don't go, don't go, it's a joke, it's a joke. I made the thumbnail for this video using one of the overlays and I'm going to attempt today to show you how I got there. Now, it's a little bit sort of quick and easy. It's not, uh, it's not a meticulous exercise. I've just done this uh, more or less as an experiment. And I've so far used two of their overlays. Here is one. And we'll go on now to create the other one together. Right, so the plan is to take um, a still shot from uh, a piece of video. So let's have a look at this. And I've been here before. I've obviously practiced this, if you'll, if you'll call it a practice. And um, we want to uh, select I think it's probably the first or do I want to catch some drops I want some I want to try and get a bit where the drops are more prominent about there I should say and I'm going to take a screenshot of that ah excuse me that's my medication alarm I don't know if you could hear that or not um, right screenshot so here we go um, there we have it. Uh, yes, that was more or less what I set up last time when I practiced this. So I think that'll do. Capture. That'll go to the desktop. Let's have a look. And there it is. So we will now open that with um, Affinity Photo. There it is. But we've also captured the word screenshot, which we'll quickly get rid of by going up to the in painting brush and going over that bit there. And that should hopefully, yes, disappear. Um, I won't at this stage do any post-processing to this image because we've got quite a lot to get through and I don't want to be fiddling around forever. So the first step I would say is to bring in our overlays and I've got mine uh, stored in assets here in Affinity Photo. So we'll go to, um, we'll go to, I can't remember how do I find assets, view, studio, assets, and those are the logos I've got. So we'll go to assets. And there they all are. Now, obviously, there are far too many. There are about 20 in each category. OK, they're numbered. But uh, oh, that's got 56. Right. I mean, this only arrived yesterday, so I haven't had a lot of time to play with it. I thought they all had that's got Oh, I see. That's how we get to 525, I think it is. Anyway, look, let's not do that now. 
we'll go to sunbeams and this one will drag on to the uh, oh one thing I've forgotten to do I wonder if I can do that now no I'm going to undo that and we'll leave that there but what I'm going to do now is resize this image because I have to uh, resize this to conform with uh, YouTube's preferred sizes and that is uh, 1920 we'll undo the lock by uh, 1080 and we'll resize that image. Never a good thing to upsize an image, but um, it isn't terribly critical in this case. Sorry about that. Let's go back to our sunbeams and uh, we'll go straight to this one, bring that in. Now, as you can see, it is much larger than the actual image that we're working on. So we'll resize that. I'm not gonna tell you every keystroke on the way because it would take far too long and I'd lose you, your interest would wane. Uh, let's come back in, bring that over here, come a bit too far, I think, there we are. And we're going to change that to add, voila. And I think we'll just close this assets down now so it's not in the way for the moment. That's a little bit dramatic, isn't it? So let's move that to a better position, something a bit like that, perhaps. I mean, we could go for a very dramatic sort of mid. No, let's, let's be sensible, let's be reasonable. Put that about there, okay? Now, uh, our original image is looking a bit blue, a bit a little bit sort of uh, cold in comparison to the now sunny uh, influence that we've got. So let's bring in an adjustment layer to uh, alter the white balance, I think. We'll make that much, much warmer. Yeah, I think that sort of ties in with what we're doing, don't you? Right. The other thing is I'd like to sharpen up the drops. They didn't turn out very well, did they? Well, let's not worry too much. I'll go to the basic image and I'll put a bit of sharpening um, on, on the droplets in the hope that we can sort of accentuate what all that's about. I don't think that's going to be noticed, particularly in the final image. So let's sharpen that up. Right, now we've got to start bringing in the logos if we're happy with that. I wonder if I should just accentuate where the sun is supposed to be falling. Yes, I think I will. So um, about here, I'm gonna bring in another adjustment layer. And we'll put some curves on that, I think. We'll take a We'll make that very bright, very, very bright. Uh, then we'll invert that. And you've got a dark mask there. Are you following? Am I galloping along too, too fast? It's not really a tutorial. It's a, it's a explanation of how I've used so far the overlays. And we'll probably, why isn't that happening? Because I'm not on brush, am I? Still got the sharpen tool. Okay, so we'll, we'll say that that is, I'm exaggerating a little bit here, aren't I? That's supposed to be where the sunlight is falling. Okay, so now we'll bring in the logos just to uh, tidy it up. So I'm gonna to have to go back to Assets, View, Studio, Assets, and this time I don't want the overlays. 
I'll, I'll just clean that up. Look, that's all of the overlays that you get for 16 euros, 17 euros. I can't remember what I paid. Um, back to the logos. Let's bring in the Affinity logo. Why not? My own moniker. Oh, that's a bit large, even by my standards of self. Uh, I'm not getting a... OK. I'll leave that there for the moment. And uh, the last thing... That's a bit big, isn't it? I'll take that down a little bit. I'd like to centre that. There we are. That's centred with that. And I want to bring in a little text now. So I'll go to the um, artistic text. It always comes up black, which is annoying. I wish it would. Well, I mean, I'm being a bit snippy, aren't I? And it always comes up Arial, and I never use Arial. Let's go to Helvetica New. And we'll go central. I'll click about there. Something like that. And I've already got in the clipboard the the um, type that I the text that I want. So we'll take that out, put that like that, move it again central say something like that and then we'll cheer that up with uh, I think that needs possibly an outline so we'll go to uh, we'll go to effects and we'll go to outline uh, something like that and why don't we give it a touch of yeah, that'll do. Is that okay? How does that look? Oh, I think what we'll do with the effect, I'll take a liberty with their logo. I'll give that a little bit of 3D as well. Yeah. That's all a bit too far to the left, isn't it? So we'll select them all. Actually, I think I'll group that and then bring that over there to about there. Is that covering up anything important? I don't think so. Um, be nice if, it, if the guides gave me a... I'll put that in the center. No, the guides aren't telling me that. That's probably because... It, uh, yes, there it is. There's the center. We'll leave that there. Okay. I'm seeing a little bit of a uh, thing around there, but I tell you what, I'm not going to fuss with that because that'll do. I'll flatten the image, document, flatten. And I think I'll call that a day. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot to <laughs> work out. Um, Guys, I hope you thought that was a bit of fun and interesting. Um, I am uh, a sort of evangelist for Affinity Photo. I have nothing to do with the company. I've never spoken to anybody um, at Serif, but I like what they do. I like the sort of community atmosphere that they have around the company and um, I really want to sort of share that with people that know me or, or know me through my uh, internet presence, such small, such as it is. And um, I just hope that you quite like that. If you did, and you are a kind, patient, forgiving person, you might consider subscribing to this channel. If you're not, you can still subscribe. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.